Lisa Bloom compared the former Donnity Kane member's civil suit to the federal case against Diddy. Amid the massive scandal concerning Diddy, there's an important distinction to make between his federal indictment and the civil lawsuits accusing him of misconduct. However, there could be some overlap between these, and some folks now think that Don Richard is one part of that crossover. For those unaware, the former Donnity Kane member sued Sean Combs last September for alleged verbal abuse, assault, sexual battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress between 2004 and 2011. Richard's lawyer in this civil case, Lisa Bloom, recently spoke to Talk TV, and during the conversation, she made some remarks possibly alluding to Richard also being an anonymous accuser in Combs' federal indictment. To be clear, the federal case is what got Diddy arrested. Regardless, Lisa Bloom posited that Don Richard's accusations in her civil suit mirror the allegations presented by federal prosecutors. If you didn't know, that federal case surrounds allegations of sex trafficking and racketeering. In addition, Bloom suggested that these separate cases aim to target various alleged perpetrators, not just the bad boy mogul. But the attorney's most revealing comments came when the interviewer asked about why he was denied bail. That is very unusual and here's why, and it has to do with my case, Lisa Bloom theorized. Because the prosecutors say he was tampering with witnesses before he was sent to jail. In my case, there's a woman, only one, who came out publicly after we filed our complaint and basically attacked my client and said she was a liar. Some folks think that she's talking about Don Richard, allegedly her client, and former fellow Diddy Dirty Money member Kalena Harper, the alleged woman in question. Well, it turns out the prosecutors say that there were over 100 phone messages between Sean Combs and this witness right after the filing of our complaint until a couple of days later, when she came out with her statement calling my client a liar. And then those calls stopped, Bloom continued. So the implication is very clear that he was reaching out to her, Lisa Bloom concluded concerning the Diddy case. I don't know if he offered her something or if he scared her or what happened, but that he's tampering with witnesses. And the judge essentially said he needs to be behind bars because we can't have witnesses tampered with. 